So she asked about 90 calories of protein before exercise. What will make you throw up? Um, <laughs> preferably not. Yeah. Well, so I should say, like in science and uh, research, you have to be. Um, you, you, it's not real life, right? So you, you, we don't usually just have 90 calories of protein. So you have to, you know, take out some variables to get to an answer. Um, but generally, it depends on what type of activity you're doing, right? So I think somebody else asked me this question too. Um, if you can, like most of us are not competing in a like specific athletic event, so it's just like our typical workout. If you can plan your meal a couple hours beforehand, then that's the better way to go, where you have carbs, protein, and fat. Um, let's say you're, you know, you don't have time, you haven't eaten for a while, um, then it's obviously stomach dependent, but something, um, so specifically in this study, we use just a whey protein isolate, so it's not too hard on the gut, like 90 calories, a small amount of water. Um, so it's dependent, but I would stay away from high fiber, high fat, if you're doing it closer to your workout. That's what's gonna cause problems. Um, so generally that pre-workout nutrient timing window is about 30 minutes to an hour. Um, so dependent on what you can stomach. Okay. And I should say like for most normal people that are just working out, um, you don't have to hit a pre and post workout. Um, generally we're not expending that much calorie, like it's not that demanding, so hit one or the other. Right, so if your stomach really bothers you, um, you know, make sure you have some food, or if you train in the morning, right, and you don't, then make sure you have something after. Um, preferably have something small beforehand, but obviously stomach dependent. You want to make sure you know. Can get